It was not for me. It was not for me. Who paid you to say that? Hey guys, it's Kat and Devisi and welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be talking about skincare, makeup, spending money we should be saving. It is time for the annual Sephora VIB sale. Get your carts ready. No, but seriously, this is always so stressful for me is narrowing it down to what is going to be in my cart because it always starts out at like $2,000 and I'm all right, how do we get that down to like, I don't know, maybe less than $200? I got my little Sephora mailer, so I knew winter was coming. But we basically have like a week. The sale starts on Friday, October 28th and goes until Monday, November 7th. If you are VIB or insider though, the sale doesn't start until the first week of November. So October 28th is just if you are Rouge. But there also is 30% off of the entire Sephora collection and that does start on October 28th. 28th for everyone. And I actually have a few things from the Sephora collection that I think are worth picking up. So let's get into it. Let's start with complexion products. I feel like that is what has really wowed me the last year. When I was going through all these products too, some of these are gonna be staples that it's like, okay, Kat, like obviously that's a given. We know about that product, but it's just like, I have to mention it. Cause I don't know, maybe you, maybe y'all, you know, some of you girlies are new to the makeup gang and you know, I gotta catch up to speed, right? But some of these are newer products that I've really just been loving lately. So the first one that I have to say that has been my ride or die, I'm so glad I picked this up, the YSL New Bare Look Tint. This, love this. I got it in the shade 12, I believe, but it's just such a perfect lightweight, like to me, it's like a lightweight tinted moisturizer. I would compare it to like rather than that, this is something that has replaced like a Bare Minerals tinted moisturizer for me. This is just something I put on when it's a day where I'm like, oop, just gonna hop out quick to run errands. Like I'll slap this on my face. I feel like I get, you know, a good decent coverage. It's obviously not like super heavy, but enough that it gives me, it makes me feel like I'm alive. It's just like melts perfectly into my skin and genuinely makes it makes it look like I'm just naturally just wow. Do you just look like that? And the answer is yes. Yes, I do. Also, I'm gonna kind of go through these fast because <laughs> otherwise I could sit here and talk to y'all for like three hours about all of these products. And like, you know, we, we have other things we should be doing, right? Next up is another complexion of product. This is the Danessa Myricks Yummy Skin Serum Foundation. Oh my gosh. Not only is this just like the coolest packaging, it's like plastic, but like squishy in the middle. So it's like a tube. You can actually, you can, it's refillable. So you can open it totally to like refill that way or just open the top of the product to squeeze out precisely what you need. Um, I love this foundation. I feel like it literally, my skin looks yummy. I'm like, glowing it's like oh my gosh who is that girl the thing about this too is i tend to have more oily skin on my face this doesn't make my skin look more oily i feel like it just makes it look more moisturized and more glowing and full of life good to have a product that you know has that balance because i'm not trying to look like a sweaty mess if you want something that is more buildable and more matte i would suggest the rare beauty foundation um, I have it in the shade 310W. This stuff is amazing. Um, I'm already like, this is empty. I'm, I'm gonna have to order another one of these because I wear that foundation all the time. <laughs> the last foundation product I have, which is crazy. I'm just like the, never been this much of a foundation person, but the, but I guess this is also well, a complexion stick. This is the Merit complexion stick. I have it in the shade suede. Um, this is definitely, I combine this, I can actually use this more as an under eye concealer on the days when I'm just gonna be like running out of the house lightweight days. I always pair it with um, my Merit complexion stick under my eyes and fix up any like light, light, oh my God, I can't, I'm totally blanking on what the word is. <sighs> Can you guys tell I took a gummy before this video? Oh my gosh, my back was killing me. I literally was like, I'm not gonna be able to film this video if I, you know, don't get, <clears throat> it's not, it's, it's, sca it's not scabs, it covers like, the discoloration. Next up is the Rose Ink Concealer. This stuff is definitely more heavy duty. 
um, total opposite of the Merit Complexion Stick. Um, this I'm definitely wearing when I want just a thicker, more coverage, but oh, does she cover up those under eye bags? I have it in the shade, I think it's 90. Um, but I love this girl when I am having a day where I've like just cried my eyes out and I wake up the next morning and she's, whoa, we're puffy. We're pulling her in, right? She's gonna help us cover those bags up. And for that, we thank you. Also though, if you do ever have breakouts, I wanted to mention this because it is a Sephora collection. And sometimes, honestly, the Sephora collection stuff can be good. You just kind of gotta pick it, you know, you, you gotta dig because some of them can be a miss. But this one is a hit for me, the Sephora Clear and cover this is their acne treatment concealer with salicylic acid i have it in the shade beige good price 30 percent off with the sephora sales so if you're looking for something to put on a pimple this is it all right but then you're gonna need to set that and i know she she's an oldie but she's a goodie she's a goodie this is the laura mercier setting powder i have the translucent honey thankfully you know laura caught up with the time she was like oh okay you blackies like to wear my shit too she gave us a shade okay cuz stop playing with me I know y'all were saying a huge thing back on the day on YouTube where all the girlies were like no Laura Mercier translucent is translucent for who it was not for me it was not for me I don't all the black girls on YouTube who are always like oh my god yeah the Laura Mercier translucent powder is translucent who paid you to say that no I don't know honestly sometimes I feel like it did work for other people and I just like it kind of worked for me but I'm someone who like likes to go in ham when I'm baking and like setting shit because I'm such a oily hoe that I feel like the translucent did bake up on me and it wasn't translucent anymore so that's why I love the translucent honey because I set my under eyes with this every day there's been nothing that has replaced her I used to for setting the rest of my face use the hourglass like setting ambient setting powder but then there was that whole thing where they were like oh, oh like we don't want to extend our shade range so black people can also have our products and I was like okay fine fuck you too I guess everyone was like hey the Sephora uh, micro smooth face powder is like a good dupe for that I'm not gonna lie it is, is it hourglass level no it's not but she's a good dupe so she, you know she works I'm happy with her I did one of my girls a shout out to as told by Kenya mentioned in one of her makeup videos a few weeks ago that the Laura Mercier matte radiance baked powder is even a better version of this Sephora powder so I'm a I might have to add that to my Sephora cart. Okay, onto the eyes. One of my favorite palettes that I bought this year that I think is definitely worth purchasing if you're into eyeshadow palettes, because honestly, I haven't been a huge eyeshadow palette person that much recently. I typically just kind of do like a single pan, but something about this palette, I'm just a whore for neutral. I'm, I'm a neutral whore, I can't help it. And look at that, look at her, okay, wow. She's beautiful, okay? Um, she's messy, okay, I'm not gonna lie. Do your eyes first if you're gonna use this palette so you can wipe out, you know, you can wipe off the dust that will settle. But look at this, look at that, okay? She's stunning. 10 out of 10, 10 out of 10. Um, I love it, love it. It's so, so unique because there are two, if you open the side here, there are two cream eye colors that I used for the crease. I just, I, I love every color. I love that there's shimmers. I love that there's matte. I love that there's cream. I love that there's foil. You just get such a good variety and I think it creates stunning looks. So if you're a shadow, <laughs> if you're a shadow person, you should get this. But if you have stepped into the light, stay the fuck away from this palette. You guys, I need to go to bed and it is only 7.30 p.m. Next, lips. Cannot go wrong with Charlotte Tilbury. Literally anything that woman does, well, now that she now that she loves the blacks, she was another one too that was like, Charlotte, Charlotte, come on, we like to wear makeup too, you know? That was for the longest time, everyone, I hated that. When the Charlotte Tilbury bronzer was like the biggest thing back in the day, I was like, well, that would have been, that would be nice to wear it. Same for the Chanel bronzer. They finally were like, okay, fine, we'll give it to you, you know? So sometimes I like have issues with those brands, like, so giving them money when it's like before Fenty you literally didn't give a fuck about me <laughs> but Charlotte 
she's one I'm like you know what Charlotte we're just gonna we're gonna we've made amends okay because the pillow is talking the pillow is talking okay obviously the pillow talk line iconic good luck getting it because it's always out of stock but one of my other favorites I love the Charlotte Tilbury lip cheat lip liner in the shade iconic nude that is what I'm wearing right now I'm obsessed with it and then on top of that I put my Fenty lip balm in the shade hot chocolate which is honestly the Fenty lip balms if you don't have at least one like a, one of these if you're a dark girl the hot chocolate is gonna look beautiful on you like look at this look at this right but honestly I also have the sweet mouth if I'm going for more of a pinky vibe absolutely beautiful um so if you have fairer skin this is gonna look stunning on you too but that's what I love about these gloss bombs I feel like they're just so versatile and they look great on everyone. I rarely wear actual lipstick, but when I do, it is probably a Charlotte. I will put uh, links to all the products down in the description for you guys in case you wanna check out the sale. But let's get into talking about skincare. Oh, and I almost forgot. Milk Hydro Grip Primer. This stuff, I need to buy some more because honestly, I think this shit might be moldy. I don't even want you guys to see what color it is. I don't even really want to look online what color it's supposed to be. All right, let's get into skincare. One of the must-haves, I know you guys have seen this product, the Paula's Choice BHA Liquid Exfoliant. This stuff is amazing. I feel like it's really minimized the appearance of my pores and just in general, I feel like evens out my skin tone and just kind of like gets rid of that dead skin each week. So this is a staple. It's always just one of those products that I have backups of, so I just <laughs> never have to run out. Another product, uh, this isn't anything expensive, but it's like while you're there, you might as well get it. Um, Cause I mean, typically I like to save my Sephora VIB sale purchases for like more expensive things, but you know, it's like, sometimes you just gotta throw those little things in there too because everyone needs hyaluronic acid and the inkly list this is super super affordable and i love just mixing this in every morning usually with my paula's choice c15 super booster this vitamin c serum i swear has helped improve my dark spots so much this with the dark spots and the um this vitamin c serum in the morning teamed up with my <laughs> teamed up like they have <laughs> they put together an action plan okay <laughs> teamed up with my caudalie vena perfect serum oh my gosh this stuff you guys if you have dark spots you need this and this is why we have the sephora vib sale because she's she's a hey big spender but she's worth it okay um shout out to my friend aisha she is the one who introduced me to this product she was like girl you need this for dark spots it will change your life and she was right you will not regret this but also you will then become addicted to this product so like if you don't want to become addicted to I don't even know how much it costs and let me see oh yeah okay it's $80 this is $80 hairs so um yeah I know and it's it's like oh she's so tiny she did for $80 this this I know okay but she's worth it let me work kit Put my thing down. Let me down where I'm Tough crowd. All right. Next up. I know y'all have heard about this one, the Laneige Lip Sleeping Mask. Oh, so good. Like, why does this smell so good? This shit always makes me want candy though at bedtime because I always put this on before I go to bed and it keeps my lips plump, okay? The boys keep coming back for more. So yeah, if you don't want to have crusty, dusty, dry ass lips this winter, get the Laneige Lip Sleeping Mask. You will not regret it hands down i've recommended that product to so many friends of mine and they all come coming back like <laughs> and i'm like are you shocked are you surprised okay i only recommend the best speaking of the best this is another product i have clearly uh wiped clean but i feel like has also really helped with uh, brightening up my skin. This is the Tropicals Like Butter. I guess it's kind of like a moisturizer. Um, I would compare this. It's it's similar in texture to the Summer Fridays Sleeping uh, or Jet Lag Mask, but this one has like green tea and turmeric and rhubarb um, and ginseng. So to me, it just helps. The, the summer Fridays, I definitely gravitate more towards when I'm like, oh, I just really, my skin is dry and I just need 
I want to have some glowy skin. I want to be like deeply moisturized, but then I pick up my topicals moisturizer when I want to feel moisturized, but I also want to take care of the dark spots on my skin. So I feel like this has also helped with brightening up my skin. So we love that for me. Another newer-ish, another product that is basically empty that is going to be added to my Sephora cart is the Tower 28 Daily Rescue Facial Spray. I love this stuff. This definitely replaced like the Mario Badescu spray for me. This stuff just feels so much more refreshing, less like it doesn't sting as much. And I feel it, this one is definitely targeted more for like sensitive skin. And this kind of helps more to like soothe and purify the skin. So that's what I really appreciate about this one because I feel like I'm always fucking doing shit or like picking at stuff and then like you know what I mean so this is like a good spray to like after you've just <laughs> attacked your face with your hands you know which you shouldn't do you shouldn't do I'm not encouraging that but like let's be real sometimes it happens right this is just also a good spray if your skin just gets sensitive in the war or the warmer in the colder weather if it gets more rashy or like if harsh conditions it gets dry like this stuff is just gonna revitalize your skin definitely would recommend this product as well from tower 28 only a few more products last thing in terms of i guess skincare this is more of like a skincare product this is the derma flash honestly i only bring this up this is not something that like you need at all well honestly none of these things in this video are things that you need that and that's a good call out like want to make that known these videos, I used to love watching these videos of like, oh, what you should buy in the Sephora sale. And I would feel like I needed to buy everything that the person was listing. You do not need to buy all these things. You don't need to buy any of these things. Cause honestly, half of these things, you can find really amazing good dupes at the drugstore. So if this is like out of your budget, or also sometimes it's just like, you're in a saving mode right now, you know? Do not feel pressure at all. This is not your season to be buying shit and this is your save up season. Do that, stick to your guns. I promise you, you are gonna be so much more happy that you saved your money rather than buying a freaking shovel to dig out your pores because you can also dig them out with an extractor that will cost you five dollars okay this is just if you're looking to splurge and this has been a product that you've had your eye on because i know a lot of the girlies talk about this product and i'm gonna be honest i use it like i i use it often so i feel like i have been getting my money's worth out of it it does work i like it is it hella expensive yes but if you can afford it and you have been eyeing it up, I definitely do like this product and what a better time to swipe it up than during the sale. Okay, two hair products we are mentioning before we wrap up. Cannot forget Olaplex, baby. The number zero and the number three. Um, I've honestly, I'm new to the Olaplex game. I just started using them after I've like completely transitioned back to my natural hair, but I, ooh. They might have to take my first child because I swear my hair feels so revitalized and moisturized and like, it feels like I, I went to the salon, you know? And it's annoying because I hate when products that like have all that hype and you were like, I, I'm not gonna lie, I was a hater. I was outside that club. I, was, I, I, I wasn't I was even trying to get in. I was just being a hater from outside the club. And I was like, everyone's on this Olaplex, like whatever, it really can't be that good. And like, I'm here to tell you it kind of is that good. And that's annoying. It's annoying to know that you were just being a hater outside the club for no reason. Here we are, right? Cheers. Anyway, on to the last two items, our favorite girlies, fragrances. Um, I am definitely going to be adding the Replica Beach Walk perfume to my cart. I got the travel version just because I wanted to like test it out. Oh, I love this. I, I guess you don't really need to get it now because it's like we're heading into fall and like this is definitely more of a summer scent. So maybe you could save that one for like the spring Sephora sale. But if you want to smell good this fall, oh, I am not here to gatekeep. Okay, girlies, if you want to bring all the boys to the yard, you need the YSL Libre perfume because oh my gosh, 
Oh my gosh, the compliments I get when I wear this. I will say though, it ain't for everyone. So <laughs> it is definitely more of like a masculine, deeper scent. And also perfumes are so different for everyone. Like this smells bomb on me, but like with your pheromones, it might not smell that great on you. So just, you know, keep that in mind. So the key notes in this perfume is lavender, orange blossom, and musk accord. Y'all, I have been just like searching for a signature scent and this is it. This is literally me. Like everyone, every one of my friends who smells this is literally like, this is you in a bottle. And I'm like, I know, I know. YSL literally called me up and they were like, hey, cat. I said, hello. <laughs> I'm gonna put that down. I'm starting to get the munchies, y'all, okay? I know, my period is coming tomorrow. I, I had to take a gummy to get through this video because my lower back is killing me. <laughs> oh. But comment down below, what are you guys adding to your Sephora cart? Is there anything that I should add to mine? Right now I've got Oribe, Oribe Mini Gold Lust Nourishing Hair Oil. I've also got their Hair Priming Lotion Leave-In Conditioning Detangler. And I think I might get their Curl Cream as well because that's what my um, stylist, Javier, shout out to Javier, that's what he uses on me when we style my hair. And I'm just obsessed with how it looks every time. So I'm like, okay, I guess I have to buy all these products. A lot of it too is just like refilling a lot of these products I just talked about here. That's pretty much what's in my cart. Yeah, like more Olaplex, more of the Silic Acid Sephora Collection Concealer. Definitely gonna have to stock up on my Tower 20 a facial spray and my topicals like butter moisturizer so we've got a few things added to the cart but I want to know what is in your cart or have you kind of just stopped like buying makeup I honestly went through like a few years where I just kind of stopped buying makeup and I feel like I'm kind of getting back into it recently and I'm just having more fun with it definitely not to the extent that like 2016 2018 Catherine was in the makeup world because that was like very unhealthy the amount of makeup I was buying but I feel like maybe maybe we as a collective have found a good balance now. So comment down below if you are also obsessed with any of the products I mentioned in this video. If you like this video, give it a big thumbs up and thank you so much, so much. <laughs> thank you so much for watching. Oh my gosh, okay. I need to go for a walk. I love y'all and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.